Hey guys. In today's video I want to show you a new feature that has been rolled out on WhatsApp for Android. On a previous video I had shown you how to hide pictures or videos from the inbuilt gallery in WhatsApp. This new feature does the same thing but with the phone's gallery app instead. This feature however not only allows you to hide media for all WhatsApp chats but also individual ones. So if you're in many groups that send a lot of media, this feature will ensure that their pictures and videos don't clutter up your gallery. This feature won't however save you any space since the media is still downloaded into your storage and can be accessed using a file manager. To free up space you can delete the media manually using a file manager as I'll show you later in this video. For now let's see how this new feature is activated. Open WhatsApp and go to the settings. Inside the settings, open the chats option then scroll down to the bottom to where there's the media visibility option. Now just tap to remove the check mark on the show media in gallery option. With this option disabled, any new media you download in any of your chats, be it an individual or group chat, will now not show in your phone's gallery. The old media that you had downloaded before enabling this option will however still be visible in the gallery. If you don't want to hide all the media for all the chats, you can enable this feature only for specific chats. To do that, first make sure that this option is turned on. Then, go back to the chats page and open a chat whose media you want to be hidden from the phone's gallery. Tap the three dots at the top right and select group info. In the group info page, scroll down and select the media visibility option. You'll find three options there. 1. The default option which shows the media in the gallery. 2. The yes option that is similar to the default option, and 3. The no option which will hide any new media you download for this chat. Select the no option then tap on OK. Now let's give it a test. First let's check the gallery and confirm the media that had already been downloaded before. Only 7 images here. Let's now go back to WhatsApp and download some new sent images and see if they'll show up in the gallery. Let's check the gallery now. No new images, just what we wanted. Remember this will also hide other media files that include downloaded videos, GIFs and audios. To confirm for videos, you'll just have to check the WhatsApp video folder that's right here. As promised earlier, I will now show you how to free up the space since the media is only hidden and not deleted. To do that we'll need a file manager. Your phone should have come preloaded with one. Usually it goes by the name of File Explorer. If your phone does not have one, you can easily install one from the Play Store. Launch your file manager and go to the WhatsApp folder that's in the root of the internal storage. Inside it open the media folder. You'll find various media folders named according to the media they have stored. Right now we're only interested with images so we'll open the WhatsApp images folder. Inside there, you'll find a new folder by the name of private along with the old images you had downloaded. Inside this folder is where the hidden images are stored. So if you need to clear them to free up your storage space, just come here and delete them. To save yourself from doing this all the time, you can alternatively delete all the media for a specific chat within WhatsApp itself. In the description and at the end of this video I've linked a video tutorial on how that's done. Now, if you're wondering how comes the images in this folder are hidden yet it's just a normal folder, here's the missing detail that I had left out. First make sure that hidden files are visible in your file manager by enabling this in the settings. Now, Check again inside the private folder. You'll notice there's a new file here that was hidden. 
it's called a .no media file. Basically what it does is tell the media scanner for Android to exclude this folder when finding new media to add to the gallery. So if you were to delete this file, all the media in this folder will once again be visible in the gallery. It's that simple. Now just apply the same principle for all the other three types of media available on WhatsApp that include videos, animated GIFs and audio files. So that's it guys. I hope you found this tutorial informative. You can support this channel by subscribing or sharing this video. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks for watching and see you next time.